Lekki Phase 1 is the point of convergence in Lagos. Celebrities, Files and Runtown lead the protest from there to the government house at Marina. They are accompanied by men of the Nigeria police. You want to be good? Yes! You want to be safe? Yes! yes. Do you want to be king? No! Do you want to No! Youth representing different organizations and schools in Kwara State, they are also accompanied by security operatives from the post office area of Ilorin to the police headquarters and are received by the Deputy Commissioner of Police. I'm listening to your complaints, your petitions, and as, as earlier told the other group, your petitions are well noted, will be documented, forwarded to the Commissioner of Police, Forestry Command, who will in turn forward it to the Commissioner of Police to look at it and take deep and proper action. From the police command, the youth move to the government house where they go into lamentation about killings by SARS operatives. Because of my iPhone, does that mean that I'm a criminal? These questions are many more are what the youth are asking. The government should be ready to take responsibility. We don't want SARS. SARS should be banned. SARS should be ended for life. The calmness that characterizes the protests in Lagos and Kwara states is absent in Imo State. The protesters are dispersed with tear gas by the officers of the Imo State Police Command. In the process, the Divisional Police Officer of OG Division pulls out his gun at the protesters. The DPO pulling out his same gun is, is not um, acceptable to us because uh, we are expected to be civil to the members of the public. Well, I guess the DPO was trying to uh, probably uh, put them away when they were trying to approach him, to mob him. In Benin City, a group of youth converge on Ring Road before marching onto the NUJ Secretariat and later on to the Edo State Police Command headquarters to express their grievances. The protesters also hit the streets in the nation's capital, Abuja. Besides the placards calling for the end of FSAS, their chants include a demand to see the Inspector General of Police. As many Nigerians continue to express their displeasure over the recent activities of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, the authorities may have to take appropriate steps to curb the officers' actions, which are considered by many as high-handed.